Hi y'all, this is Troy Black. I have a word to share with you today that is going to be affecting a certain part of the world over the next five to seven years. So let me pray real fast and then I'll start sharing this word from the Lord. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would just speak through me today and that you would help me to share this with clarity the way you've asked me to and that you would help people to hear what they need to hear from you today in Jesus' name. I give you all the praise, honor, and glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So this is a word I heard on June 12th, but I also heard something that's partially related on July 4th, and these are both in 2022. So I'm going to share the July 4th word first. What I heard was a toppling of societal structures in Greece and Italy. And then I heard one will affect the other, like a muscle that tears and pulls another muscle into its injury along with it. Then I heard one will rupture and frustrate the other without realizing it. So these are the countries of Italy and Greece that the Lord is talking about. Then I heard him say a crumbling of structures. And then he said, hope in me, says the Lord, hope again. Do not be afraid to hope again, even in the midst of disappointment, even when the structures are crumbling, believe for more. And I believe it's kind of a disappointing word in some senses, but also there's hope on the other side. So I want to show you uh, through this other word, some of the other things God has to say about this area and some of the things that are going to be taking place over the next five to seven years. So this word is going to be about the Balkans. So I looked this up, and this is what I found in Wikipedia. The Balkans, also known as the Balkan Peninsula, is a geographical area in southeastern Europe with various geographical and historical definitions. The region takes its name from the Balkan Mountains that stretch throughout the whole of Bulgaria. So this is the word I heard from the Holy Spirit on June 12th. I heard him say Balkan Islands, Balkan Islands. And it was interesting because the Balkans are not islands. Like I just read from Wikipedia, they're actually a collection of countries in this geographical area. Yet, I'm going to be showing you a map right now so that you can see that culturally, the islands around and even the coast on the other side of the Aegean Sea um, are actually included oftentimes in this region. So I believe when the Lord says Balkan Islands, he's actually putting the emphasis on this area that's on the coast and the actual islands that are off the coast. Moving on. So I heard the Lord say Balkan Islands, and then he said shifting tides, and then he said the trade capital of the world. And then I heard him say moving in the right direction, a move back to the past and an ancient civilization that once held the world in its grasp. Then I heard him say an iron grasp. Then I heard the Lord say counterfeits have come and gone, but never the same weight again until now. And I believe this is something that God is saying is going to be happening in the future. It's going to be coming. And then the Lord said, this is a major word. And then he said, you will start to see it over the next five to seven years in a major way. Then I heard him say a struggle between what's good for one nation and what's wrong for another. One of these nations is going to cut another off. And then I heard this phrase, in tandem. Then I heard him say, a path to peace. And I had a really cool confirmation when I looked this up. One of the things the Lord said here is, a move back to the past and an ancient civilization that once held the world in its grasp, an iron grasp. And when I looked this up, so Greece is right there uh, in the Balkan Peninsula at, at the bottom, And it's right next to all of these islands, right? It's next to the Mediterranean Sea and the Aegean Sea. And this is what I found when I looked this up about Greece. And this is what happened during what is referred to as the Iron Age. And I I did not know that ahead of time. And that was a really cool confirmation that this happened during the Iron Age. This is what Wikipedia says. The Greeks were the first to establish a system of trade routes in the Balkans, and in order to facilitate trade with the natives, between 700 BC and 300 BC, they founded a number of colonies on the Black Sea coast. So it's talking about the coast here. It's talking about trade. It's talking about them establishing trade across the Balkans, but also this happened during the Iron Age. 
Then it says, by the end of the fourth century BC, Greek language and culture were dominant, not only in the Balkans, but also around the whole Eastern Mediterranean. And after this, we see the Roman Empire coming in and we see history changing. But this is the simple word that I believe the Lord is sharing through this for you today, because I believe this is a word of knowledge, something that's going to happen in the future that we're going to see play out and be, and especially begin to play out in the next five to seven years. But I believe the Lord is also saying this. I'm, I'm referring back to what I shared at the beginning from July 4th, where the Lord said, even when the structures are crumbling, believe for more. And he said, hope in me, says the Lord, hope again. Do not be afraid to hope again, even in the midst of disappointment. This is what I hear from the Holy Spirit today for you, is that even when the structures and even when the society around you seems to be crumbling in many ways, the Lord is saying, hope in me. He's saying, hope again. Do not be afraid to hope again. Don't be given in to disappointment. Don't give in to the lies of the enemy that says this is something you have to carry it's not something you have to carry. And I'm hearing the Holy Spirit saying, I will carry it for you if you'll let me. I will see you through if you'll simply turn to me. That's what I'm hearing the Lord saying. And that is good news. That's such good news. And we see that all throughout the scripture. And I just feel this from the Holy Spirit right now. There's, there's a heavenly presence on this. We see this all throughout scripture that every single time someone turned to the Lord for help, with a genuine heart, God showed up in one way or another. Every time, whether it was answering the request, whether it was providing supernaturally, whether it was him sending an angel to help them or to direct them, whether it was him speaking by the Holy Spirit, or whether it was him coming and just standing with them in the fire, we serve a real and living God and he's saying to you right now, don't be afraid to hope again. But don't put your hope in the structures of this world. Put your hope in the Lord. I'm hearing him say, put your hope in me, says the Lord. And let me show you how I can handle it. Let me show you that I want to take care of you. That I am willing to provide for you. That I'm willing to strengthen you, says the Lord. Let me show you that I am the great provider. And I will do it, says the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, I just give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Thank you, God, that apart from you, I can do nothing. You are to be glorified and honored and praised. And I just ask that this word would land the way that you want it to today in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this word from the Lord. Uh, if you want to find out how to support these videos, you can do that on troyblackvideos.com and also um, when you get a copy of my book, Stop Worrying, that also helps support these videos as well. Uh, one last thing, I have a second channel uh, on YouTube here and it's called, uh, just changed the name, it's called Troy Black Teaching, where I do some deep dives into scripture and I am trying to answer uh, biblically and scripturally some of the difficult questions that, that we face and that we ask as believers. So I hope you get a chance to go subscribe to that channel as well and check out some of those videos. I love you so much and I'll see you next time.